Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you several ways in which you can add a page to your document. So if I want to insert a blank page or a new page between page one and page two, the first thing I can do is I can take my cursor down to the bottom of page one and click, and you can see my cursor there. Then I'm just going to press the return key several times and as you can see my cursor has come up to the top of page 2. If I continue to hit my return key you can see how it pushes the words and the text of my document all the way down my page and as I continue I will push this text right through to page 3 and you can see now I've got this blank page. If I go to the Home tab and click on this icon here, this will show me where all my return keys are. If I want to continue to type, I can either start at the top, I can start at the middle, or I can start at the bottom. If I want to just delete this page, I just highlight all of these return keys, press the Delete key, and as you can see, my blank page has disappeared. Now the next technique I'm going to do is to take my cursor to the top of page two and click. Then I'm going to go to the insert tab and then click page break. Now once you've done that, you can see that you now have a blank page on page two and the rest of your text is on page three. Once again, if I go to the home tab and I click this icon, you can see here that we've now placed a page break here. Now it does mean if you want to edit, you can't start at the middle of the page. You'll just start at the top as you normally would from another page. If I hit the return key, as if I had been typing, you can see the page break will just simply move down the page. And then it will move on to the next page. Now, if you don't want this page break to leave this blank page when you've finished typing, then all you need to do is to hold your command or control key down, click and drag over page break to highlight it, then just press the delete key. And that way, once again, your text will return to page three. If you'd like to add a blank page at the end of your document, once again, simply take your cursor to the bottom of your document and click. Then go up to insert and click page break. And then once again, you'll see that you have a blank page at the end of your document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.